it's Catherine from the Lady Critics Library. It's been a couple weeks, um, much longer than I said I would be for my actual return, but never fear. There have now been posts posted reviews and such, so it is official. I am back, unlike last time. This time I'll stay, but anyway. So I'm here for this week's In My Mailbox, which, don't bite that, don't bite my books, which consists of three or four weeks worth of books. It's been a while. So I have a few. I only bought a couple, so go me. And um, yeah, so let's get right to it before Sophie decides to eat them all because she's trying to chew on this one right here, which is Where the Wild Things Are. Or sorry, wrong book. This is just called The Wild Things by Dave Eggers. Stop licking my books. It's based on Where the Wild Things Are, um, that children's picture book, and then of course they made the movie out of it a couple years ago, last year. So I saw this, it was at Chapters for only a couple bucks. It is gorgeous, like check it out. It's cloth bound, hardback, like just super nice. So I got it. Are you going to jump? Do you want to jump? Before she goes down. Say hi to Sophie, everyone. She's gotten bigger. She's more of a pain. Aren't you, you little monster? Yeah, you are. Look, there's you. There's you on the camera. Hi. Down you go. So yes, chapters, bargain books. Yes, okay. So the next book, I got a notice in the mail. And I was like, I haven't ordered anything. Like, I don't know what this could be at the post office. And I had forgotten, I had pre-ordered... The Wake of the Lorelei Lee by um, L.A. Meyer because I wanted this cover to match all my other covers and this is the eighth book in the series. I'm excited. Please don't mind Sophie. She's, she's just deciding to be a pain. No! Are you caught? You want to be uncaught? Yeah, so while well, Sophie chews on her chicken we will continue. So, that was a pre-order I completely forgot about because I did it like months ago. Um, and then, as it always happens, we got some fantastic books where I work and I could not resist buying them. Plus, I get my 30% discount on them. Although, if you are looking to buy them anyway, Shoppers Drug Mart has most of their books for 25% off for everybody. So, I got... Spellcaster by Carolyn Schultz. I have a signed advanced reader copy from BEA from last year, but I got it originally to read from NetGalley, and I actually got this one from NetGalley too. I just, I've been horrible for reading them lately. So, well, for reading anything lately. Um, but yeah, so I wanted a copy to go with my advanced reader, and I wasn't going to repurchase my advanced reader because it was signed. So, um, I have this. I'm actually really excited to read it. I did like the first book, and I want to see where it goes next. Then, I got a book that I did get from NetGalley. I did already read, so keep your eyes peeled for the review, which will happen in the next couple weeks. Honestly, I have like 16 books to review between like now and whenever I get caught up. Great. But I got Goddess Interrupted by Amy Carter. Apparently, I don't know where I read this, but it's pronounced like Ame instead of Amy. I think that was on like Form Spring. I don't know. I say Amy. Sorry. I think a lot of people do. But um, yeah, so I loved this book. I hated the ending. Horrible cliffhanger ending. It's like, what? No, you can't end it there. No, you just did, didn't you? Um, so I can't wait for the third book, and I actually really want to read the novella that comes between books one and two, so I'm excited. And then, the last book I got at work for 30% off, which you can get for 25% off if you're just, you know, normal folk, sorry, is Spellbound by Rachel Hawkins. I want to say Rachel Hex, but that's not right. Um, I read Hex Hall. I have Demon Glass, I just haven't gotten around to reading it. So I'm really excited. Now I have the full trilogy, and if Demon Glass ends horribly with a horrible cliffhanger ending, I can just go right ahead and read this. 
it works out both for, you know, everybody. Anyways, then yesterday I was at work and before I went to work, oh, by the way, I'm filming this on Thursday. So by yesterday, I mean Wednesday. Um, I had stopped in before because Sophie had a vet, a vet appointment and I had a notice from the mail or from the post office and I'm like okay now I really don't know what it is because I don't have any pre-orders coming up and I'm just not expecting anything and so I went in and they just received the mail at 11 o'clock and I'm like oh I have to wait so I had to wait until I was at work so when I got to work I located the girl who was going and starting her shift in post office and I'm like here this is my post slip can you remind me to please get this? Because, like, I'll get busy with work and just forget. Or better yet, can you just bring it to me in the office? So she did. And she comes and she has this huge box. And I'm like, what is it? And she's like, I don't know. It's books. I'm like, but I didn't order any. And she's like, well, it's books. And she gives it to me. And, like, I swear to God, I almost started to cry. I was so happy. I, like, completely left the floor of work and went running into the back room and the boss is back there. He's like, what happened? You're like red. I'm like, I'm so happy. It was the box from Raincoast, which, oh my goodness, so many problems. So first, they had a computer malfunction. So like all the addresses were screwy. That is Sophie's chicken. Please don't mind it if you can hear it. Anyway, and then um, they sent it and it, it was right after um, my dad died at the, at the 1st of March and no one was here because my mom, I called her down to Leonard. I'm like, yeah, I kind of need you here. Thanks. Um, so we missed it and it got sent back and I'm like, damn, like I was really, really looking forward to these books because like originally when we first got them, it was supposed to be for a blogger meetup in January. So I quickly emailed Crystal and I'm like, I'm really sorry. Here's the deal why I wasn't home. I don't know if it's possible, but if it is, would you be able to resend me the books? I swear to God, someone's going to be home this time. And I didn't hear anything, so I'm like, uh, ah, no big deal. Like, it's okay. Um, and I completely just forgot about it. And then I get the package Wednesday. And I was like, holy shit. Excuse my language. Thank you so much. Like, oh my God, I am so excited. I had coworkers wanting to steal these books from me. As soon as I unpack them like crazy they're all so jealous anyway so I got the most amazing books from Raincoast and here they are after my very long excited rant so first first oh my god I got wake by Amanda Hawking like holy crap so excited um never before published yeah brand new brand new so excited so I have the first two books in her trill trilogy I think I butchered that a little but you know the ones with the trolls um, and I haven't gotten around to reading them because you know I've been slacking on my reading really bad um, but I am so excited like this sounds so amazing and it looks amazing like look at that cover what are you barking at? You're crazy. Anyway, then I got Born at Midnight by C.C. Hunter. I need to find out if this is like a second or something. I'm honestly not sure. I need to research this one. Yay! Because I don't know if it's the first or the second or whatever of the books. But, I mean, look at that cover. It looks so cool, and it sounds really good, and I think it's about fairies. I'm totally reading the back right now. Um, yes. Oh, there's a whole bunch of, you know, paranormal people. So, very cool. Right away. Um, excited for that one. I got Faded by Allison Noel. I've been seeing this one around on the blogosphere. I have been, you know, a kid online checking out other people's blogs. Are you done? You're stuck, aren't you? She's stuck. Yeah. Read this way. How do you, what do you, excuse
excuse me. Okay. Don't eat my books. So yeah, this one sounds really good. I haven't read her other books, but I've heard really good things about them. And this one just sounds really cool. So I'm excited. And it's the first in a series. So it's a good place to start. Okay. Then I got Girl Meets Boy, which has a bunch of amazing authors. Um, yeah, like, there's a lot of authors. Ouch, don't fight me. Um, so this will be really good, and it's really tiny, so it'll be a really short read. I'm filming outside. Sorry for the traffic. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm excited for this one. This one looks really good. Then, holy crap, I got Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. Like, I think I was lusting over this book this time last year. Like, I have wanted to read this book for so freaking long. It's not even funny. So I am so excited to get this. And I'm going to start reading it very, very soon. Oh dear, it's folded. That was probably me. Next, I got The Vicious Deep by Zareda Cordova. Sorry if that's wrong. That's how I would pronounce it, but I'm, you know, occasionally not right on these things. Um, so yes, and this is like another thing about mermaids, and I love mermaids, and this is going to be an amazing summer read. I can just tell it. I can tell. And then I got two, two finished copies of books, which makes me so happy. I got Article 5 by Kristen Simmons. So yeah, this was one of the books a coworker was trying to steal from me. And I'm like, uh, no, not yet. You can get it in a, a you know, few days. I need to fill my in my mailbox first. So this will be going away to a fellow coworker for a few days while she reads it. But it sounds so good. And I know this is on my wish list for or it's on my to reads list, I should say, for sure. On Facebook or on Goodreads. Um, so I am excited. Do you need to be chewing on my boot? Really? Well, at least it's keeping you quiet. And then, the last finished book I got is actually one that I already own. So, um, one of the girls who works in post office is an avid reader. I'm going to give it to her. But to show you, it's birthmarked by Kara O'Brien. I think it's Kara. Um... This was a 2011 debut, I want to say. I'm 2010 maybe? I know, I'm pretty sure this was her debut um, novel. Yes, this was her debut novel. And I meant to read it for the debut author's challenge in the year that it came out and failed miserably. But I do want to get around to reading it. Um, it does sound really good. And it is dystopian, I do believe, is how you would categorize it. So, I'm excited. But this one will be going to a good home. Um, to a friend who will love to read it, I know, for sure. So, good home to this book. And, that's it for me. Um... It's great seeing you all again, figuratively. Well, a car goes by. I live on a dirt road. You think I could film outside for a couple minutes without the sound interference? No. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys again soon. I am trying very, very hard not to uh, buy any books until BEA, which which my trip was almost jeopardized. You should see my waiting on Wednesday, or my, ooh, I should say wish list Wednesday um, post that was on Wednesday to uh, see my little rant about it. But I'm still going, so meh. Um, yeah, they decided to tell me four months later that my application was rejected for whatever. And then they're like, oh, sorry, our fault. It was our mistake, so you're still going! Yay! Since I've already purchased my flight tickets and booked my hotel. Yeah. Oh, 
well. So yeah, that's it for me. Don't mind the messiness of all of this. I'm sitting outside because Sophie, you know, is liking to be outside. Stop biting me. Um, and I know she would have never been quiet inside to get this filmed. She's barely quiet out here to get it filmed. So yeah, that's it for me. I will see you next week, maybe, if I have books to share. Fingers crossed that I don't because <laughs> I'm trying really, really hard. I've done really good. Really good. So, yeah, that's it. Happy reading, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye. You want to say goodbye? Say goodbye, Sophie. Don't look at the camera. Oh, there's the camera. Nope, you missed.